What is going on guys? My name is Jace Machine and we are finally playing Fallout Shelter, a game that came out on the uh, Apple products a couple of months ago and has finally been released to the Android today. So we are playing it on the PC today using the Blue Stacks app player if you guys are interested in playing this yourself. It is free, both the Blue Stacks app player and Fallout Shelter. So with that being said, let's dig right in. We're going to start a new vault. You have to pick which number of the vaults uh, you want to have. We're going to be uh, vault 121. 21 is my lucky number. It was my basketball uh, number when I was in school. Congratulations, vault -Tech has selected you to be the Overseer of Vault 121! The vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. As Overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute it uses. Assign dwellers with the best special to make them happy and pursue, produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy. Do a great job, guys. Alright, guys, we are going to start this with the tutorial. We are the Overseer. This game plays a little bit like a Sims Hotel game, a little bit like FTL, a little bit like Progress Quest, if you've ever heard of that. Look it up if you haven't, it's fun. All right, so we're gonna build a room. Start with the, uh, the construction icon here. We're given the power generator. It's the only one we have access to at the start. Now we wanna place it kind of centrally located to where we're gonna place other rooms because the closer your room is to the power room, the better off it is. So I'm going to start the power room right here, I think. Okay, now we need to get some people working here. Oh, look at that. Hello, we have two dwellers that have shown up. This is Justin Anderson. Uh, he's a really good at his strength. Everything else is kind of average to mediocre, and this is what he is currently equipped with. Hi, Justin. This is Denise Brown. And uh, she's good at being charismatic, so she's very pretty. And she t says funny jokes. But if we were to assign her somewhere, it would be because of her perception stat or her intelligence. I guess endurance is good, too. But regardless, that's that. Thank you very much. So now we're going to uh, tap these guys and drag them. This guy's going to the power room. Mmm, yes. See how he has now been... Oops. That was awful. See how he now has his little Volt Tech outfit on? Okay, so we're going to also stick her in the room as well. So let's just click on her. And plop her down in here. You guys have to excuse me a little bit. I'm getting used to the controls on a PC. It's a little different than an actual touch screen. A little different. Now we can actually zoom in on these guys. It's going to actually ask us to do so here in a minute. Yeah, double tap. What a perfect work assignment for me, God! If you were in dire need of extra resources, you could tap the rush mode button, and you will get the ability to quick stuff uh, quickly get stuff done but what ends up happening is that there's a percentage chance that you might screw it up this time it's a 31 percent chance but this first one is a tutorial so it will always pass thanks justin thanks denise you guys are awesome all right so we're going to build a second room and that will be the diner uh, where do we want to have the diner? Where do we want to have the diner? I'm going to... I'm going to stick the diner right here. 
people with higher perceptions are actually quite good here. Um, I guess they're very perceptive on making sandwiches. One last room for the uh, the tutorial is the water treatment plant. This is almost as important as your power generator. But all three of these rooms here are vital to your success as a vault overseer. I'm going to place this right here. Awesome! So this keeps track of our uh, resources, our main resources. As you can see, we are not quite cutting it on our power. Ah, but now we're doing good because every so often the ticks go through basically and you have a few seconds you have to wait for each room to produce its goods which will then transfer up to here so now we actually have people who've shown up and uh, we know the basic rules so now we're basically the tutorials done and we are on our own amber fisher amber i am going to stick you in the here and I will say this because I was incorrect when I was telling you guys to put your perceptive people down here. Don't. It's your uh, people who are good with guns are good with sandwiches. Your perceptive folk are good in the water treatment plant for whatever reason. So let's stick her over here. John Payne. You're really good at L? What is L? luck he's really lucky he's pretty charismatic and he's fairly smart right now he's just an able body we're going to stick him uh into our sandwich shop see you pal yes we can send people on adventures we'll get to that too uh anna hicks what's going on hicks anna what are you gonna get involved in now you can look at their stats or you can just grab them and hover them over the various rooms, and it will show you what they are quite good at. She's good at making babies, and she's good at being perceptive. Okay, so this part down here is a bunch of different um, objectives that we can equip. Uh, get done throughout the day. Not really equip, but uh, check this out. We're going to click on this guy real quick. Uh, shows you our objectives. So we can send one dweller to the wasteland. We can successfully want, rush one room, and we can now claim the caps from this, because we did, basically, you send your P people to the P place, your I people to the I place, and so on and so forth. Uh, you get three at any time. Uh, you can skip only one per 24-hour increment. All right. So, let's continue getting our people in here. We got Benjamin Lord. Mr. Lord, where would you like to go? He is awesome at making sandwiches. And he, I think that minus one means he particularly sucks over there. We're going to make him sandwich guy. Now, if this room is overloaded, which right now it is. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Helpful Hint. Um, the person with the lower score will leave. Each room, as it is, can only hold two workers. We can increase these rooms uh, through caps and uh, add up to four to six workers in any one room. I'm not sure. We'll find that out again. Uh, the persons who aren't assigned just sort of aimlessly wander around. What do these guys have going on today? The overseer really made a smart move assigning me here. Yes, I know. Can we rush this place? I'd rather not rush it on a 29. I don't rush unless it's in the 30s. I've been thinking about making a cake for everyone. What flavor would be best? German chocolate! Okay. Tyler Drake. Tyler Drake, you got dreads. You seem like a pretty cool guy. You are super, super perspective. We're getting you in here. You're going to be like the manager. Of this and uh, see those little bubbles that appeared above his head it means he's happy he's happy damn it so let's get the last guy here he's good we'll put him in here yes okay so hold on a second we gotta level him up mm-hmm make some food 
Knock, knock. Who, who's there? <laughs> Can we rush with these guys yet? No. Craig and Justin, how are you guys doing in here? Let's rush. Oh, no! Alright, so this is bad. This is a good example of bad stuff. You have two things that happen, right? Either a fire will break out, which that sounds like there's a fire broken out, or you get rad roaches that infest your rooms. Both are awful. But these guys are capable of putting it out. And in the beginning of your game, you do not have to worry about radiation illnesses. Who hey, did you hear what they were talking about last night? No, what were they talking about last night? I didn't, but that's okay. Unlike some people, I don't like to spread gossip. Whoa, ho, ho, Mr. Lord. High and mighty. You jerk. All right. Now, we have an extra person out here. We don't have an extra room. So, we need to add an extra room. But, uh, can we bring her in here? We cannot? Okay, so we are at a cap and we have an extra person waiting outside. What we need to do is to expand the rooms that we already have. Um, they want us to put more uh, living spaces in. I do not right now. I would like to uh, put more power. And we're going to put that right next to the old power room. Check this out. Yes, yes, thank you very much. We can equip people. Amazing, huh? All right, so these uh, these idle people can now get put to work. Let's put her in here. Let's get her... Hello. Hey, you. Denise. Will you come here, please? Yeah, thanks. All right, so now we're going to have four people working in here. This is going to produce more energy, and as a result, it's going to be awesome. Um, this is ready. We have two people waiting outside. Let's look at what we can build still. Uh, we want one more living quarters. So we're going to stick the living quarters right here. Why am I doing this? I am putting these rooms because I want to upgrade every single room that I can to a double room. Living quarters, you can kind of squeeze them around a, a little place. Like this one here I'll probably keep as a single. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go into that more later here. Um, we have Sarah Hardy. Hey, Sarah. What's going on? How are you doing today? There is another r rule that I have. Oh, these guys don't have anything happening here. Just bring her, invite her to come in. And uh, Sarah Grant. Really tough, Sarah. You are a tough gal, and I like that. I like that. Uh, we're just going to bring you in and have you... Yes, we can make babies. Which is really the, kind of the next thing that we need to talk about. Is uh, getting people to hook up and uh, increase your population that way. You'd have a few people who will wander in from the wasteland, but largely, largely, guys, um, it's uh, it's mostly uh, your self-breeding. Pretty much your self-breeding. Okay, how's everything going here? If it was safe to leave the vault and live outside, would you ever want to? Yeah, would you? Well, maybe, but it depends on what they have out there. Carnival? Streetcar races? Cotton candy? I mean, it would have to be worth it. Not Speaking of worth it, it's not worth it to uh, to rush that room right there. Wow, what a heck of a day, huh? I know you guys set things on fire and you expanded your center here. It's awesome. Let's try it. Yes! Oh, yeah, now we got a lunchbox, baby. Lunchboxes are awesome. First off, let's go in here. Nope, wrong button. Let's, huh? So we claim the caps on that. We haven't sent this guy out yet. We're still working on this. Yes, good job, guys. Lunchboxes. This is an unlock uh, lunchbox. 
lunch boxes come with cards. Cards are characters, equipment, or uh, materials, basically, uh, like food, power, and things like that. Resources. Radiation suit. This is crazy that it's kind of sideways. I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Caps. Power. And a character? Oh no. Commander fatigues. I will take that though. That's awesome. There are rarely there are rare cards that you get in this game. And uh, these fatigues I can then put on someone. And uh, and they will be amazing. Right? All right, we have a new person. Why Linda Hardy? I think your relative's already here. Come on in. The water's fine. Okay. So which of these do we kind of lose out on food? We're going to want to increase food, and we're going to want to increase our water next. Where do you want to build the diner? Next to the other diner, of course. Now look at that beautiful place. Um, I have extra people walking around. I'm just going to stick them where I can. I don't think she's particularly good at making sandwiches. No, she is not. She can hang out over here, though. You're okay at sandwiches. She's happy because she is good at making sandwiches. Now, what do you guys have to say about that? Want to play catch lighter? We're going to play some vault ball. Hey, you got new people. See? Cool, huh? I don't know how that's making sandwiches, but... Whatever. Let's try it. Yeah! We are almost to 50 food. Everyone's happy. People are leveling up left and right. Water production should be built next, I would say. Yes! We're going to do it right here. Double up this room. Alright, so. You're good here? Awesome. You do not have to hang out in the bedroom anymore. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these rooms that we can add. Uh, we're going to unlock some more, as you can see. But we have elevators, so we can add floors. And, uh, let's see, storage rooms allow us to uh, store stuff. We get more rooms based on the amount of people that we have living with us, too. Med bays make uh, stim packs or whatever they're called in this game, I forget. Uh, science labs make radaways. Look at all this crazy stuff. Yeah, even a game room. Okay, whatever. 77 caps, not a whole lot. We are going to invite this lady to come in, and we can build a new room after this, too. Teresa Davison, my friend. I haven't seen you in ever. All right, you're going to go work here. You are awesome working here, by the way. Little Fallout guy said so. And this lets us know that we can now build. Come on now. Woo! A little far. We can now build the storage room. Nice. Increases the number of outfits and weapons that I can hold. So, yeah, it's useful. This is a really addictive game, by the way. I actually don't even like apps. Like app games? I don't even like them. I love this game. What's this do? Oh my god! Amazing. Okay, let's uh, see how these people are doing over here. Hey, up for a game of cards later? Everything's working well in here. Maybe, but only if I can deal. Oh, are you a cheater? 
Let's see. She looks like a leader. She looks like leadership material. Car uh, Teresa? Hey, how you doing, honey? That, that was almost sexist. Radiation suit? I'm going to give you a radiation suit. And now you look amazing. Let's see. Can we rush it? Mm, let's try. Nice! Making me happy. Okay, everyone's happy. Look at that steam coming out of his butthole. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, food guys. How are you guys doing today? Reading this great book, it's about the school teacher who falls in love with a mechanic. These guys are like, we don't care. Rollers and wrenches? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a good book. Ew. Creep. Alright. One outfit. We just have to equip him with one outfit. Okay. Hey, you. Put this on. Awesome. Actually, I don't want you to have this. Let's take the vault suit. Hey, which one of you guys? Ooh, drawing of the overseer. Now that would be something. Yes, draw me. Draw me. Craig. Since I like your name, you get commander fatigues. Thanks, Craig. Totes, yo. Totes. All right, lunchbox. Unlocked. Ah, these are oriented properly. Thank God. We got food. Caps. Armor piercing 32. And some more caps. Okay. Um, who wants to have the armor piercing? One of these. I'm going to give it to her, actually. Teresa, you can have a gun. I want you to shoot things for me. If you wouldn't mind, please. Now, food guys, how you doing? How's your rush stats? Awesome, let's do it. No! No, no! Please be fire. Nope. Rad roach infestation. We gotta get her with the gun here now. Step on it. Step on spider. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Okay. My God. Now, if you pull someone from another room and they uh, they come to help after the emergency is over, they will go back to work. Isn't that amazing? People who are kind of useless will get out of the way. Oh, she's sad. I'm sorry. Ooh, sorry about this, actually. What am I doing? No. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. So, water time. Huh? Ah, oh, so close. As soon as I... As soon as I have someone I think I can send out, I might end up sending this dude out into the wilderness. Actually, I think you want to send someone who has good endurance. That would make sense to me. Uh, how we got... How's we going here? Uh-huh. Storage room. We don't need the storage room quite yet. I mean, if we are going to put the storage room, we'd probably put it over here. All right, that's fine and all. Fine and dandy. Dandy and fine. Uh, let's level these guys up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so here's something else that you guys can do. Uh, you can upgrade these rooms, I think. Aw, oh, sweet. I'm so happy about that. Let's rush. Awesome! She leveled up. Okay, so uh, let's go claim that. Uh-huh. Go up here, and we'll claim here. 
What have you for me? Stim pack. That'll come in handy. Caps. Rusty BB gun. Oh, cool. Mark Lane. You charismatic son of a gun. Mark just showed up. Hey, Mark. Tell me about yourself. Are you like... Are you like Pope? You are. You're a Pope. We're going to change your name, Mr. Lane. This is Pope Lane, everyone. Look at that charisma. Oh, my goodness. It's because of his vestal garments help him a little bit. Dude, Pope Lane, you're awesome. Come on in, buddy. We're going to we're gonna have the Pope. He's going to come in here, and he's going to hang out right here. Yes, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, you can upgrade stuff. We're going to want to upgrade this door just a little bit. Upgrading the front door uh, will help against bandits, but you really kind of have to upgrade it a couple of times. So we're just getting this first one out of the way. All right, so um, let me see here. Who is the most charismatic of the group? She's pretty charismatic, if I don't forget. Yeah, come in here. Hi, my name's Sarah. Is your the name the Pope? He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm the Pope, baby. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. And she's like, <laughs> cool. All right, so we got that going on. Um, what's going on down here? We're safe in here in the vault, right? You guys are kind of safe. You're only kind of safe. I will try my best to protect you guys. I don't make any promises, though. Let's see if we can rush this. No. But we are really close. Teresa? Guys, you guys are ready? Vault ball. I would totally join your vault baseball team. It's You gotta bounce it off the ceiling, man. Let's do it. This room is on fire! Yeah, it's critical production, pal. Look at that. Burned up sooty room. It's because you're missing. It's missing. I'm glad we got some time together, Pope. Yes, it was a critical production failure, and it was your fault! You were the one in charge of this mess! Keep an eye on your stuff. Make sure people are uh, working here. So now that you got your basic stuff set up, we are going to wrap this episode up right here for today, guys. Right here. Alrighty. That was Fallout Shelter, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Feel free to comment below, what are your Fallout Shelter strategies? Hmm? What are some other games that you like that are like this in the same genre? I might want to check them out. This is the first app game I've ever played, so let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the next episode.